how you can use your social skills to raise your income with Ty Lopez. And your basketball skills. And your basketball skills as well. <laughs> So Ty, yeah. it's important to make money. You've got to know people, you've got to give to people, you've got to give value, you've got to have a great network of people. How do you do it? How do you use your social skills? One of the most, one of the most popular books I've ever posted is How to Win Friends and Influence People. So the reason so many people I think like that video is obviously based on a classic book, but in the modern world, the way people forget that money's exchanged. We live, currency is cotton. Some people call it paper, but you have to get someone else to give it to you. And nobody gives money freely. So you either ping a part of their brain that goes reward, 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 and low pain, low fear. And when you do that, then they open up their checkbook and they give you some of this cotton. Right. And most people think they're going, that you see their strategies in life, it's they wanna go in and grab people's wallet and just say, give me that. And that's not gonna happen very long. And if you look around the world, some people say, why do school teachers make less money than let's say LeBron James or Ronaldo? And I'm not saying it's fair. Ronaldo, obviously, you know, we need school teachers and doctors and it's a lot of the income is unfair. But the reason is because there's so few people that can trigger that response like a pro athlete can in millions of people that we're willing to go, you know what, I'm gonna open up my wallet and give Ronaldo and give LeBron James and give, you know, we watch the Super Bowl, give, give Duke so Peyton well. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, guys, Peyton Manning. or the defense did better. And the, what you gotta look at in yourself is you have to go, do I have the social skills? Because social skills come out, you can show that one. Oh, you can show that one. You can show my makes. Um, oh, there you go, I'm matching you. Oh, we're gonna have a little horse shootout. <laughs> Why'd you show my miss and not my miss? No, no, hold on. I, you got one, I got one. You know what? It was very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> but people forget that whatever you know, your social skills, you can leverage those into raising your income. And in the story of every person I've ever talked to, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk we was here the other day, Mark Cuban, got to talk recently. I, I got to hang out with Elon Musk a lot. Did you get that one? Yeah. Three-pointer? All right, hang on a second. Hang oh, on. yeah, James ain't going to let that fly. Oh, I'm lucky. When you talk to these people, at some point, they use their social skills, like Elon Musk, Tesla, PayPal. There was a time where his companies weren't doing too well in 2008, 2009, and he had to be able to raise capital. So he had the social skills to go out and talk to a whole bunch of investors, and he raised what the number was billions like eight billion dollars or something in bonds that's leveraging his social skills to get cash in his business bank account so that he could grow his business and you have to be able to do the same if you can't do that even you'll be like steve jobs said he was before he learned this he said he wasn't good with people and made a lot less money 1984 when he did that big apple launch he got on stage he used he had been practicing his social skills and he went out and now Apple's the biggest company in the world. So for you, and James is a good one to talk about this, he does a lot of training on social skills. Okay, good. here's your chance. Hold this for a second. Here we go. Here's James' chance. That's not oh. Still up, I'm still up. For you, I, I, I kind of say there's three main social skills you have to have, and you probably have some of these. Number one, it's ability to walk into a room and feel the vibe of the people in general and also the specific people. Because everywhere you go, you're gonna have a different vibe. Sometimes it's formal. And if you come into a formal vibe and you act super casual, you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot or vice versa. And then when you talk to an, in, an individual person, I have this pace system thing that I teach in the accelerator. And there's practical people, action people, social people, emotional. Like Elon Musk is an E, he's emotional. So I've got to talk with him three times, hang out with him a little bit this year. Ah, uh, oh, he is emotional. Isn't woo, woo. Yeah, I met him with yeah, that was cool. yeah. One of them was with James at Golden Globes HBO party, and with uh, Elon Musk, because he's an E, you can't act the same way. You can't act too aggressive with him. You have to be a lot more chill, and so that's the first one: be able to read the vibe of the room and people. 
So you're it's, saying, I'm sorry, before yeah. you move on to the second one, it's, when you say read the vibe of the room, what you're really saying is you've got to identify the personality type of the person that you're conversing with or the group of people, whether yes. they're an action, aggressive in action, whether they're more emotional, touchy-feely, whether they're more uh, social and like, wanting to yes. know things. Well, you got to read. If it's a yeah, lunchtime it. New York City, Manhattan, 9 a.m. or 9 a.m. power brunch or breakfast, right. you're gonna have to, you might have to wear a suit. Because that's step number two then is who, who can read the room and then who can adjust to the room. And if you can adjust, James, that one I got, let me shoot I'm that one. Oh. I should say one of the list things is focus. Here we go. Third, so that second thing is to be able to adjust. And most people, they can't adjust. People pride themselves on being stubborn and who I am who I am. Some of that's oh. good. Still up, James. You think yeah. I'm competitive? You're competitive. Nope. Oh! nope. The second one is people, uh. instead of being stubborn and saying, this is who I am, I'm, a, I'm an outgoing, aggressive person. Well, some people aren't gonna like it if you're aggressive. Bring out different parts of your personality type. The third thing, you know, but that's a big one. It's not the strongest or the smartest who survived. It's, there you go. It's the most adaptable. And that's super important. And you gotta know how to bring, and it's harder. It, it takes a long time to learn. Almost, James. Oh. I'm getting, starting to pull ahead. I'm getting robbed here. I've got so many like balls that are going in and then popping out. Oh! The third thing that I think is important, and this is kind of the, the final category, which is getting behind two or three shots. This shot, Dave. this shot, this shot. Before you get number three from Ty, you're gonna get this shot from me. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, that's gold. Oh, all right, I'm still up Somebody by two. Somebody stop me. I'm still up by two. Somebody stop me. I'm up by three again. Jay, give him number three. Give Don't number challenge three. me. I just played Chris Paul in horse. He could barely beat me. You not? No, I'm Australian. Ain't gonna come to America. <laughs> Won't be able to hang with us. We have us. the NBL, my friend. Yeah, yesterday. rugby. The National Basketball League. And you have that other thing. What's that Aussie rules? Aussie rules football. Yeah. Here we you, go. I'm sure you can whip me in. I never played it, so. Okay, so the third thing. You have to know the inner workings of people's brains so that you can see which of the cognitive biases they're, I wouldn't say susceptible because you don't want to take advantage of people, but to speak their language. For example, one of the 25 cognitive biases is social proof. If you're talking to people, you want to make more money, you want to close a deal, you want to get a customer, you have to recognize that that person needs to see some other customers that have had success with your product and show it to them. So you're not being manipulative, you're more uh, meeting them where they want to be met, speaking their language. Other people's cognitive biases are authority. You need to speak with authority, tell them why you're qualified. Other people will be uh, more interested in what's called the cognitive bias of liking and disliking. You just have to show you're a likable person. You don't need to talk about the business deal. You can talk about your friends and family and they'll like that. And over years, I've learned how to, how to ad adjust to those 25 cognitive biases. Then you can get more advanced. There's 103 logical fallacies. There's you know, false analogy, um, fallacy of composition, fallacy of division, straw man fallacy. Those are other ones that you learn how to cut through. A lot of people, have confused thinking and to make more money you can get paid to bring clarity to people's minds and um, you gotta you gotta train you know everybody wants to be yes. you know in the playground if you sh shoot a bank shot from here and you don't call it they don't count it but I'm gonna give you about? they don't count it it's on camera no, but I'm it's saying if you bank them and you don't call it, we don't count it in America. But we'll give you a. I'm still up by I think three. That's why I'm proud to be. Show Australian. that. Show that. Thank you. That just. We also up. say. We also say in America when someone tries to cheat and then you shoot and make it, the ball told the truth. Ball told <laughs> there the truth was no about James. Going on. James, manipulative. Awesome. There we go. Ball told the truth, James. <laughs> Uh, All right, so summarize those three for us, Ty. One, so the two, three, three is read the vibe of the room and the individual. It could be even customers or networking. The second thing is adjust. And then the third thing is in your adjustment, use the 25 cognitive bias and the 103 
logical fallacies to speak the language they'll understand or else you're going to speak to them in a language they don't understand so yeah. it's real important just like this shot is important to be on camera Woo! i think i'm ahead by five james should we if cut? I make this it cancels out all the shots that you made <laughs> james is making up rule the ball doesn't lie though see uh, all right there you go cheaters never win whatever and winners never cheat whatever how you can use you your social skills hey, to make... hey you got a show he's, che he's cheating he's again cheating. he's cheating again i have a witness did yeah. that go in i saw it yes what about, witness. What about this one? and you saw hey let me see that camera did that shot go in yes it did so i'm up by like yeah. six so i want you to film this my friend okay you film this all right this is going in oh we don't count those oh. in america oh he banked it we don't count those not in my house so there you go. There's three ways to use your social skills to make more money from Ty Lopez. If you want to get more, check out By the way, cognitive biases for James. He has one. It's called competitive nature. It's true. Some people, the way you'll speak their language is you have to compete with them. That's kind of a subset of the authority cognitive bias. But James, if you don't compete back, James will lose respect for you. Trust me, I know this guy. I only like competing against you, Ty. <laughs> no, that's not true. He <laughs> will compete against anybody. All right, awesome, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for that. Check yeah, out yeah. Ty's 67 Steps. You can learn more on this stuff. Click the little link right here. See ya. Hi, I'm James Swanick, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to check out another video from me, you can just click here, and to subscribe, just click there.